Good morning, Richland, Richland High School. School. Thank, Thank you for viewing Room TV. Today is Friday, December 8, 2014. Tomorrow is Blue Day. Here's what is happening at Richland High School. Friday, December 5th, Green Day. 3 p.m. TSA Work Day. 4 p.m. Basketball Girls Junior High vs. Bishop Guilfoyle. 6 p.m. Basketball Boys Junior Varsity at Bishop Guilfoyle. 6.30 p.m. Richland Theater Booster Meeting. 7.15 Basketball Boys Varsity at Bishop Guilfoyle. 7.15 Swimming Boys Varsity vs. Westmont Hilltop. 7.15 Swimming Girls Varsity vs. Westmont Hilltop. 8.30 Ice Hockey Boys Varsity at Holidaysburg. Go Rams. Tuesday, December 9th, Junior High Wrestling 4.15, Wrestling 5 o'clock. Wednesday, December 10th, Varsity Swim 4 o'clock. Thursday, December 11th, Junior High Girls Basketball 2.30. Friday, December 12th, Varsity Wrestling 2.15, JV slash Varsity Girls Basketball 4.45, Varsity Boys Basketball 5.30. December College Visits. The following colleges will be visiting Richland in December, Mount Aloysius and Penn Highlands. Interested students can sign up in the guidance office. Distinguished Young Women Program. The Cambria Somerset Distinguished Young Women is accepting registrations for members of the junior class until December 15th. Requirements include be a member of the junior class, complete the online forms, and submit a transcript. The finals are set for April 25, 2015 at North Star High School. Information is available in the guidance office or at distinguishedyw.org. Physics Club. The Physics Club will have a meeting on Tuesday, December 9th, directly after school. Girls Basketball. Congratulations to Sam Hauser being voted to the all-tournament team in the WAABA Tournament. The offense for both games were Sam Hauser with 19 points, Becca Carnell with 14 points, Sam Ballow and Caitlin Fetzer with 8 points. Emily Dabbs and Becca Carnell led the teams with 11 and 10 rebounds. Sam Ballow led the team with 7 steals. The Lady Rams play Bishop Guilfoyle at home on Wednesday. Elf on the Shelf. Starting Tuesday, December 9th through Friday, December 19th, there will be an Elf on the Shelf Rambo contest for staff and students. Watch the announcements and follow Rambo. Pick up a form in the main office to keep track of where Rambo has been. Entry forms are to be turned into the main office by Monday, December 22nd at 8 a.m. Prizes will be awarded. Laurel Highlands FCA Snow Tubing. Laurel Highlands FCA is sponsoring a snow tubing event over Christmas break, Tuesday, December 30th from 8 to 12 p.m. at Seven Springs. There will be a pizza buffet and concert from 8 to 10, followed by snow tubing from 10 to 12. Signs are in the guidance office, and be sure to pick up your permission slip and waiver sheets. Softball, attention softball team. Hitting at the garage will begin on Saturday, December 20th. If interested to see Holly Mishler or Abby Miller this week to schedule a time, there will be a $10 fee per player to cover heating costs. Part-time job opportunity. Sunny Hannah Country Club is now hiring part-time staff. Contact them at 255-4121 or tcar at sunnyhannacountryclub.com. 2015 PA Governor's School Applications and Eligibility Criteria for the Pennsylvania Governor's School of the Sciences is available online. All applications must be postmarked by January 31st, 2015. Book socks. Book socks are available for sale in the main office. The cost is $2. And now for the weather. Hi, I'm No Glecky. The high is 34 and low is 29. Ha goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hi, I'm here with your current events for December 8th, 2014. Last week, a grand jury announced that there will be uh, be no indictment for the police officer whose chokehold killed Eric Garner during an arrest. This decision has sparked several protests nationwide with some California turning violent protesters and police clash. A group of 17 states led by Texas has decided to sue the Obama administration over new executive action that eases the threat of deportation for immigrants without proper documentation in the United States. The goal of this action is not to receive money, officials say, but to have the executive decision be declared as illegal. Two Texas teenagers recently tried to carjack a vehicle. However, neither of them knew how to drive a stick shift, so they demanded at gunpoint that the driver tell them how. Even after the impromptu driving lesson, the pair was caught and arrested. That's it for your world news. Have a great day.
Where did the police go to the bathroom? A restroom. But, um... Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glacky, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature for today is 39 degrees. Noah? Guys? Did you guys just see that? Nope. No. No? You know it's not there. Guys? Oh my gosh, I'm alone. I'm alone. I don't know where they went. Where the heck they go? Uh, uh, I don't know where they went. What? What? I'm locked out. Good God. I gotta go find them. Noah, uh, Russell, Corey. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. Have a ram-tastic day.